Hi, my name is Anthony. I'm here today with Cyberry.it and I'm your local subject matter expert here for A+. And today we're going to talk about your BIOS. Before we get into the exact information on the BIOS, we need to first understand that BIOS is actually an acronym. BIOS actually stands for Basic Input Output System. The BIOS is essentially the system which allows your computer to turn from a piece of metal into something that can actually understand commands and work through problem solving. Well, the BIOS actually allows you to turn on your computer, select an operating system, and load some basic configuration. Um, without the BIOS, your computer would receive electrical information and it would just run around the motherboard and not really know what to do. Where is the BIOS on our computer? Well, the BIOS is actually inside our computer located on a board called the motherboard. It's a small chip on the motherboard which we can load software onto which is called firmware. Now firmware is a little bit more permanent than say normal software that we load on our computer like Adobe Flash Player or Windows Updates. Firmware is actually a single piece of software which directly controls a piece of hardware, in this case the BIOS. Well, that firmware sometimes needs to be updated. And unfortunately, it's not as simple as going onto the firmware website and downloading the newest update. It's a little bit more complicated than that. And if we do it incorrectly, then we can actually corrupt our BIOS, which, as we talked about before, the BIOS is responsible for helping us turn on our computer and select an operating system. We don't want that to happen because if we do that and we try to turn on our computer, we really just have an anchor. So let's go through a couple steps and actually talk about the correct way to flash our BIOS also known as updating our BIOS, with the new firmware and how we can do that safely and effectively. Our first step is going to be determining our current version of the BIOS. Now how do we do that? Well, when the BIOS starts up, it'll normally give us a little bit of information on the uh, bottom screen that we see uh, when we first start our computer. Usually it has our computer manufacturer's name on it and we'll see a little loading bar. But that information can be hard to capture, especially if that goes by very quickly, which it, we want it to on newer computers. So, in order to see some information that we can look at and copy down a little bit easier, there's two special places that we can go. Um, and this is going to be specifically for Windows users. These two commands are going to be msinfo32 as well as dxdiag. In both, both of these instances, we'll be able to check out our current BIOS version and our BIOS type. Now, with that information, we want to copy that down, of course. And then we'll move on to our next step, which is finding the correct BIOS update. The easiest way to do this is to go directly to our computer manufacturer's website. In the case of the computer we just took a look at, it's, that's going to be Dell. So we want to find our correct update. Now, usually when we search for the update on the computer manufacturer's website, we'll be able to search by service tag or possibly our computer make and model, and that helps us narrow it down a lot. Especially in the case of Dell, you can easily just put in your service tag and it'll bring up your exact computer type. With that, we can check through the listed drivers, and in this case, we'll want to look for our BIOS. Now, underneath the BIOS information, we'll be able to see a couple different BIOS versions, and we want to download two of them. We want to download our current BIOS version, as well as the new BIOS version. Well, why do we want to download the current BIOS version? Well, let's say we update our BIOS on our computer. We flash the BIOS, and now we have a new BIOS version, but the next time we turn on our computer, we notice a lot more bugginess or say it's a lot slower than before we updated it. Well, with that new update, we can just go right ahead and we can flash it back to the previous version. So we've found our current version, we've downloaded it, and we've downloaded our update. What's our next step? Rather than just go ahead and update the BIOS straight off, we're actually going to secure our power source. So what does securing the power mean? Well, by securing the power, we know our computers work on electricity and sometimes we can experience electrical outages or brownouts that remove that power source. If we're in the middle of a uh, flash, flashing our BIOS, if we're updating the firmware on it and we experience a power blip, then that's going to corrupt that firmware on our BIOS. And the next time we go to turn on our computer, we're going to end up with an anchor. It's not going to do anything for us. So what, the best things that we can do, let's take the scenario of a desktop and a laptop. If we have a desktop, or say a desktop or a server, we want to have backup battery power for that. We don't want to just plug it directly into the wall. We actually want to plug it into a 
secondary source of electricity called a UPS, standing for an uninterruptible power supply. Which is basically it's a big box of batteries. And we plug that directly into the wall. And that itself charges up with electricity. After it's fully charged, we can plug our computer into it. And in the case of an electrical outage, our computer will actually receive the backup power from that UPS. So if we're flashing our BIOS, lights go out, our computer won't shut off. It'll keep receiving that constant flow of electricity and hopefully the power will restore shortly or our BIOS will finish flashing in the time that we have on our battery. Laptops are a little bit easier. Laptops come in with built-in battery packs. So all we need to do is just make sure the laptop is also plugged into the wall so it has that second source of electricity just in case our battery life isn't as good as we think it is. So now we have determined our current BIOS version. We've downloaded our current version and the update. We've secured the power, and lastly, we're going to go ahead and install our BIOS. A more technical term, of course, being flashing our BIOS. When we flash our BIOS with our new update, we'll just go through the manufacturer's recommended steps for using the software that we downloaded. It can be different. Um, some of them you need to download the uh, BIOS to a USB with a special utility, and some you can just install from the operating system. Once that's all finished and we've gone through all the steps properly, we can go ahead and restart our computer and we now have a new BIOS.